Very well. The sun is out. Motorcycle neighbor is doing his laps. We are at sea. A storm. I missed it. Oh no. Probably took a little bit of damage there here in Disgaea. It's been a little bit since we've done this. Our goal is to map the world. We're making some progress. Stuck here... Where there is a storm. With 32,000 adventuring points. Probably gonna want to sail straight west. I believe storms continue through the day. So... Just pass some time, and tomorrow we'll shove out. How are we doing money-wise? Plenty of money. We have two ships, the Pedro and the Chad. Are we lugging any cargo? We are. We are not. Right, that would be that one. And on board we have Hans is in charge of the Chad. We have no first mates. Could use a first mate. So in a couple hours we'll shove out and uh, make a mad dash for the shoreline. <laughs> I get out of. Got out of the storm season. Hmm. Yeah, forgot to do that. Right. We sail. We have food. We have supplies. We might be in trouble. Do I have any balm left? I do. Okay. Plenty of balm. The storm has to start that first. It will calm storms. We can buy more of this somewhere. Do not recall where. We have at least one more. may be necessary in order to get some of the Pacific Ocean parts. We have reached Indonesia? Yeah. yeah head southwest so we hit a port. Pick up some of the Indian Ocean. Probably have enough money for the rest of the scenario. Nice and relaxing Saturday. Oh, hey there. Hello, friend. Esteban, what are you doing way out here? Senor Ortega, what's up? That is a ways to go to head for Cuba. What's up, Mankau? Um, all ports can handle repairs as equally as all the others. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, not gonna buy any good ships out here. Well, we compare the damage from the storms. I do believe when you when your ship takes damage, its maximum health goes down a bit. Slight attrition over time when it, dealing with wood. What is, 
Can we get like spices here? Trade in something other than gold. For Ginger and pepper. Handle this. So I let's empty out the chad. Dump all that water into the ocean and some food. Don't think I can. Don't think Jacob can negotiate down to two. That's a lot. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain from three to three. According to Jacob, where can we sell this ginger for a good price? In not. So we head we're headed back to Europe anyway. Bar open at noon? It is. Any chance someone is here? Let's gamble. Feeling lucky. Hit me. Hit me. Damn. <laughs> Best two out of three? Hit me. Damn. You win this one. So we could sell for 40 days before we can sell for 20. That's still plenty. I need to pick up the Indian Ocean stuff, so... Yeah, let's just head south and cut west. And hope we don't run into too many storms. While we sail... By ball. Uh -huh. Does not tell me where I can buy it. No storms. Pretty fortunate. Making good, great speed. Misty, how you doing? Alright, we have cut that whole swath of Indian Ocean. And... How you doing this fine Saturday? Hope you're feeling better. Oh, hey, friend. Alright, hey, Tommy. Doing some trading out here? You know what? That is a mech... That is a reasonable way to get to Mecca. Uh, we'll stop at the supply port on the Cape. Alright, here's a list of all the things you can buy. Okay is good. I'll take okay. Now, what did we name this? <laughs> Kate Poopsmith. Good job, Hans. Yes, this... 
initial stream of this was when I was very uh, intoxicated for my birthday stream. So I'm not going to remember any of these supply port names, and that's awesome. At some point, I will have to. No, oh, I've already sailed, sailed all of the African Ocean there. Oh. Where can I buy balm? Do I need balm for the Apis? Alright, in Bordeaux. Who howdy. Hey, Jules. Yeah, most of the time they'll be heading somewhere reasonable for their direction. It was just Esteban who was heading to Cuba by way of Indonesia. Pretty lucky, no storms at all. We can pick up another La Real while we're back. We'll do that too. I need sailors pretty badly. Uh, piracy, probably not this playthrough. There are two scenarios, two and a half scenarios, based heavily around combat. Ernst is not that one. This is the relaxing one. Murder will come next. Tree. Do, do tell. Uh, this is Bordeaux. <laughs> well, we'll have... We'll be given a letter of Mark to become a privateer in one scenario. anything to sell I have a lot of balm I did fly a plate I have a cat let's buy some more balm over here and because Ernst has extreme OCD and collects receipts we must purchase things one at a time sword. Now, one thing that we're not going to be able to experience in this one is that if you if you sell something, he will offer you... Oh, alright. Don't usually hit the cap of items. Uh, you can, if you offer to sell something, he'll offer you a price. And if you say no, there is a chance he might increase the price in order to get your item. Yeah, we bought it for three. We're selling it for 72. Sounds okay to me. Not a bad, not a bad shipment. Any chance there's La Reals here? Yes, I'll take it. All right, I need, a, I need a, a name for this ship. 32. Thanks, Jacob. Saved me a lot of money. We have the, Ch we have the Pedro, we have the Chad.
And the Misty. The butt. Buckle board. The butt. We need to remodel the butt. The butt starts off halfway suitable for combat. We don't need that. 30 bucks. No guns. That lovely 420 space. Slap a figurehead on it. Uh, the butt. Yeah, the hero. That He looks kind of like a butt. Increases your luck stat. Alright, let's go hire 30 guys. Hopefully anyone else who's at the bar. Grape juice. Certainly not wine. Wow. You treat the crowd, depending on your your charisma, and how many people are in the port by way of its industry rating. You get an, an amount of people per day to join you. Your crew. So if you don't get enough that one day, then you could just kind of rest at the end and get more the next day. No one here. Klaus is a pretty not great navigator at this point. He went out the... Yeah. He's going to slow down the whole fleet. You move at the speed of your slowest ship. Just the Pedro. I can do 16 days if I fill up both of the other ships with cargo. Let's check not. Maybe there's someone we can hire here and not. We don't even have a first mate. No one here. Amsterdam and London both being nearby probably have people there. Nope. France is not a real country in this in this game. You know, it's a it's a very proper representation of the real world, right? I will stop in London next. Although your people will eventually get better over time sailing. They get more experience if they are the chief navigator, more experience further if they are commanding a vessel. It is appropriate that the pub. <laughs> it's a weird language where you don't pronounce a lot of the words, a lot of the letters. Hans, come on. We need people here. If they're at the top of your group, then they are, like, they already are leading something. They will never be looking for a new job, but you could provide them from information on where people could be. Yeah, there's a guy in Bristol. Or at least we've got that. We stopped by Lisbon too on the way out. And no one oh hey. You though. Or it's 50 bucks? That's fine. You work for pennies. These two are both. Oh no, not Yeah, you. That Lawrence. No one in Bordeaux. 
Any chance you start better than what we have? Any chance you can be a first mate? Yeah. Manuel is way better than Klaus. Never mind. Manuel is better at this than Hans. Wow. Right, let's slap down Lawrence as our new chief navigator. Welcome aboard. Swing by Brit. Um, we need to swing by Amsterdam. Tell. You want to raise? That's fine. could pay someone 500 a month it won't really add up to all that much let's see if maybe there's someone in Amsterdam and we're gonna go tell Mercator how good we're doing at mapping the world Cater ever goes to sleep. Steamed crabs. Leon Van, yeah he does. Oh, no one available here. Happy Halloween, October 31st here. In the game. <laughs> I like your hat. No one in Copenhagen. If you don't uh, hire someone, eventually another one of the factions will hire will hire them. I'll get to it. Don't you worry take 85,000 smackers for mapping the world. Heck yeah. For our next goal, I suppose it's, I should just finish off the Indian Ocean then. And while we're out there, we'll fill up on gold to bring back to Europe. How about that? One chunk at a time. We've done just about all of the... We've done just about all of... Oh, I wanted to fill up on glass beads while I was here. Uh, the land masses. Just kind of... Although we haven't done Antarctica, much of that. Yeah, we'll fill up the, the butt. We'll fill up the butt with beads. Don't worry about it. Give me 400 lot, lots of beads. I tell you, the people of East Africa are gonna love it. So like, if you go late enough into the game and you don't hire Jacob here, someone else will eventually pick up Jacob. And then it's random what kind of fleet he ends up wielding. And one time, I got attacked by a very heavily armored fleet, Venetian fleet led by Jacob Walwalk. He was scary. Let's check out Bristol. Someone said there's a navigator there. Wouldn't it hurt to have a first mate to tell me storms are coming. Where's the bar in Bristol? Excuse you. And then we'll stop by Lisbon. Lisbon tends to have people sometimes. Yeah, you. <laughs> oh, I love your I love your face, man. Yeah, if they say your ship no thanks, then after a few rounds, they'll probably join you. This guy has a knack for seamanship. For 20 cents. Nice. 
are you qualified to be a first mate? No. You know what, we'll make Hans the first mate. Which means we'll take Hans off of leading the Chad. Even worse. Come on, y'all. You'll get better, Anthony, over time. There, now I have a first mate again. Maybe we'll find someone in Lisbon who's not terrible at sailing. At the beginning of the game, where uh, each scenario where people are is set. But we are many years in. In fact, there is a quest guide, a journal in this. That tells you all sorts of things, like your trade goods. That it is one page at a time. Apparently, we'd name something Maui Can't Swim and name something else Ragnarok. Like, now that I have you, tell me about all the supply port names. <laughs> one would assume this one is Madagascar. I... I was blacked out drunk at this point, so I don't remember doing any of this. Leaky tailpipe. Boneless chicken. The brothel. You can't Ukraine forever. Bonerland. Consent is important. <laughs> Where the hell am I? The Beef Curtain. <laughs> yeah, some of these names. Head to mode. Fantastic. We were having a good time that day. The day I did not make it to my bed. I made it as far as the dog bed, which is close enough. There's the most powerful pirate in the game. I have enough money, he probably would have attacked me if it was daylight. And I would have been boned. I was about, uh, yay drunk. At that, if he were to attack me, I probably would just give him my gold, my gold so he would leave me alone. Oh yeah, there we go. Giovanni. He has a knack for knowledge. I apparently not experienced enough to hang out with him. Let's tell this girl about the Moai. I wonder. She's a plot important one in one of the other games, uh, scenarios. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you have to have a certain number of stats. We are the world's greatest. We discovered a MOA. Thanks for the one... 100,000 gold. About, what do you feel about the Nasiped? A creature rumored to resemble a mouse that walks upside down using its highly developed nose. Nose. This odd creature is probably not real. <laughs> oh, he's not impressed. We made this up and told him about it, and he was less than impressed. We are the world's greatest adventurer. Thanks, man. <laughs> Want to hear about a kangaroo? It 
helps his animal hip hop along. Super. 20,000 gold. You wanna see the Jurassic Park lizard? Super. Worth slightly less. I found a rock. Great. Extra for a rock. Alright, I found a koala. A tree dwelling marsupial mammal that only eats the leaves of the eucalyptus tree. Infested with chlamydia. He loves koalas. And a kiwi. Just not impressed at the moai at all. We take care of the Indian Ocean now. One step at a time. The methodical approach. And away we go. Stats are a uh... That means someone got very lonely at some point, and then that one went on to show all his friends. So, Giovanni might want, like, level 20 or something like that, or he might want a combined stat of combat and navigation, which we have no combat skill. We are in storm country. I should not be sailing this far away from the coast. At least with Hans back at the chief, at the uh, first gate, first mate position, we'll get better, faster, earlier warning. Typical Koei games and all the numbers therein. Very relaxing game. Of course, you could like play with like Turbo or what have you, but I feel like that defeats the purpose of the video game. Right now, we're past the storms. Hey, buddy, bring us to what was it, Cape Poopsmith? It takes Hans a moment to get his bearings, but then he'll he'll auto sail us to a port we've been to before. He will sail us to our death if I ask tell him to send us somewhere that um, we will run out of supplies on the way. Good job, Jacob. Good job, Anthony. These guys will learn quickly. We have a lot of sailing to do. Like, for instance, if you were to... You could hire Kyrel Din. It would... I've never done it. It takes a... It would take a really long time to do it. When you defeat an enemy, they get removed from the map, and there is a roll of a dice that they will appear in a nearby pub as a vagabond sailor. So you could then theoretically hire whomever. Kyer's stats are like, I think it's in the 40s or low 50s for each. You'd have to be better than the person that you want to pick up in the stats they care about. For him, it's both. They added a lot of things into this game that you would in no way in any of the scenarios 
would you um, actually accomplish it? Which is cool. Infinite replayability. We sail east until we hit Australia. There are storms out here, but I guess it isn't storm season. Or the figureheads are just boosting our luck enough that we're not rolling the storms. Which is, you know, nice. Because I just bought all those bombs, so. No problem using them. Fine, Friday morning. Sailing the seas. There are six scenarios in this. Two are adventuring, but only one it has cartography as a as an additional piece to it. Two are combat oriented, and one one is trade. All about making that money, which can't see our money from here. The map will even show our money. Not sure where we'd see that. Oh, about to stop it. Uh, that's not a port. Hopefully there's a port around here somewhere. There it is. Stop here in Canada down under. Upside down Canada. So the ingots there in the bottom left, 60. One of those is 10,000 of, of, you know, pancakes above. To condense the money down. Um, you can easily, fairly simply overflow that cash. You can only have... 9,999 ingots. It would does not take a lot of effort to overflow that. And we will be doing that. In the trading scenario. And then one is a mix of all of them. Like the hard mode. Which ironically is the first one on the list. Joao. Where do I need to line up to knock out this line? Now, funny you should say that. Uh, one thing that happens, one of the real kind of bastard moves of the of the money scenario is at some point you end up losing a whole lot of money through events and you have to build yourself up again but if you were to turn that gold you, if you turn that gold into assets that you can just turn around and resell you could skip a whole lot of what the game expects you to do. You could just, so, one may have noticed that when we shove off, there's sale and supply. At capital towns, you can also moor. And to moor your ship means you just take it and put it in storage. Come back for it later. Because you can only have so many ships in a fleet at once. I would think that there's room for Three, two, three, three, six, eight, eight fleets, eight ships or so. Ten, ten ships. You could take so in order to get around that, you just you can moor up to five ships at each of the five capitals. So you can have twenty-five ships, and it keeps it gets rid of the, the 
It gets rid of the people that are working it, obviously. But it keeps the cargo. So you could take a take a giant ship, fill it full of gold, stick it in the and moor it, and come back to it if you need it. When you need it. Alright, we've made it to Madagascar. And the money that's the assets stored there are not counted towards your overall gold amount. <laughs> yeah, I figured that would be Madagascar. Good job, y'all. Your people only level up upon hitting a port. So every one of the scenarios is are based off of your stats. The progress. And by stats I mean like your fame, the boxes of your trade fame. Pirate, the pirate flag is your combat fame, piracy fame, and the bottom is your adventuring fame. You have to hit certain thresholds in these various ones in order to progress the game. Head up a little bit first. The only one, like, typically it only cares about one stat for each of the scenarios, except for Joao, which wants balancing of each of all of them. At least adventuring and combat. This one is the Ernst is the only one that has a secondary thing. Your fame maxes out at fifty thousand. I could get fifty thousand fame just from grabbing all, seeing every port in the game, and grabbing every one of the villages. But it also has one more thing you need to do, and that's the world map. I thought that was a storm. Make sure I'm not missing a hair. Nope. This is going to finish off the, most of the Indian Ocean. We'll stop in East Africa, pick up some gold, bring it back to Europe, and then do the Atlantic Ocean. The Pacific is the most annoying because all around Hawaii are storms. Save that for last. Well, we've done all of Antarctica, except for one chunk. How about that? I did sail all along there. Alright, what's this? <laughs> oh gosh. No. I hope it was y'all naming these. I really hope that wasn't me. I don't know, I don't know, it makes a lot of sense. And so at the northwest end of this Macronesian island, we head west. So that just change of island that went to the east, it, all the small islands, you can't sail between them, and there's no port on the southern end of it. And I have fond, I have memories of being a kid and running, playing this game and running out of food and water and dying along that strip. Because I could not find a port. That's fun. dawn of it you're, you're the game ends when your main person reaches like a certain age 63 64 years old or so just too old for sailing but uh hans here starts off a bit older than us does that mean he would go until he's 80 
I don't think anyone else would retire before you. Hmm. Does not sound like something I'd want to test. And there you go. Indian Ocean accomplished. We head southwest. Place with gold we've unlocked is Sofala. Find Melindy since we're here. Do you have gold? You have gold for a good price already. All right, let's tank your economy. Take these beads out of the butt. We bought them for three, we'll sell them for a hundred apiece. But if you do it in lots of 50, it drops the overall economy rating for the way the game models supply and demand. Prevents you from pretty much doing this. So instead we'll have sm smaller and smaller returns on investment on the beads, which is no big deal. This is more or less paying for the supplies. But now we can take that tanked economy. Get a hundred per off gold even harder. Jacob will knock that down even farther. We'll just load up all 420 lots of the butt, but with gold. Blaze the butt. For storms until we get to Luanda. We get to Luanda, so let's go ahead and have him sail us there. Other way, buddy. Hans, please. Thank you. <laughs> Knew you could do it. Takes him a little bit to catch his bearings. I don't, we don't know what he's been doing. Before we suddenly gave him the helm and said, go for it. section after. Yeah, the the Law Royale is practically the fastest ship in the game. And it has oars. There might be one faster ship, but it only with the wind. But even having navigators that aren't great at sailing will still make tremendous speed. 19 knots come. Lightning fast. I'm gonna take control here. If you push a button, you just take control. You don't have to pop over the menu and tell Hans, no, no. You just take the wheel from him and continue on. And as is polite and proper, you don't actually put, a, I don't hold a button when sailing. We just push and it goes. We might be able to make it all the way back to... Actually, where do you recommend, Jacob? Since you're here. 
you recommend taking this to Bordeaux? I think we'll make it all the way to Bordeaux on this trip. Sail then drown the entirety of Africa without stop. Oh, oh, hello. Hey, Kyre. Let's, uh... Oh. <laughs> hmm. If we were to talk to him, he would absolutely attack us. Since you can't engage at night, you could talk to him at night. Pirates will usually just say they're on their way home, no matter where they are. He could follow you down the Nile. If you talk to him at night, he'll still say, Oh, wait, no, I'm just on my way home. Pirate. Yeah, Liz I'm sure Elizabeth's prices are just as about as good as Bordeaux. Job, Lawrence. Good job, Anthony. See, they're learning. Doing great. No economy to tank in the new world. Ahoy! Ahoy, BTB! We bought the gold for 500 a lot. We'll sell it for a thousand a lot. Make doubling our money. Yeah, 40, 400,000 gold. Not bad. Right, let's just fill up everything. Because we're heading to storm country, so if we get stuck in a series, storms can happen one after another after another. So if we get unlucky. So. We also haven't done any of the Isles, the Canadian Isles. So let's do that next. Take a break from open ocean. Nice. Is it? I, I assume that means it's nice out. All right. Now, I am not terribly familiar with the geography of the Canadas. Maybe Misty can give us a tour as we sail about. Sorry, as we sail a boot. Have I been down here? Not west. I believe this is into the Canadas. Only the north, only the western Canadians are the friendly types, eh? Now, there is a hazard in the Canadas. We'll see if we run into it. Scattered throughout the world are various things. We've seen the St. Elmo's fire. We've had sirens kill a lot of our crew. There is a giant squid somewhere that can wreck a ship. Never remember where that is. I feel like that one moves. No mice up here. I slapped a supply port in my game. I believe this is the Hudson. There was just there's not much going on in Canada. Uh, we've had the wind die down in the Arctic. So if you don't have found Churchill, you know. Alright, we need a name for a Canadian port.
Uh, now that BTB has arrived, if you recall, I'm assuming you were here, BTB. I don't remember much of that day. Um, I'm assuming you were here. Well, I'll, I'll have to be outside to do that. First, we need a name for this place. And I feel like he had a hand in naming a lot of things. From the names on the list. Your new name. There's nothing here. Right, so for the for the names ports we have. Graphing Gift Giver, Yoo Hoo Big Boy, Kate Poopsman, Ry Me a Ripper, Marty, Hey Salty, 42069, Primes, Leaky Tailpipe, OMG Pirates, Boneless Chicken, Monster Island, Canada Down Under, Disgaea, The Brothel, Ukraine Forever, Voodoo Slash Twitch, Maui Can't Swim, Bonerland, Ragnarok, Consent. In Spanish, that says, Where the hell is this? Vast land empty. A nice name. Beef curtain. Cape cock. Fort B word. And Timo. Misty said she did uh, Canada Down Under. <laughs> There's a lot of ones there that definitely feels a BTB may have been at the helm. Now right, we've cleared out the I, believe the... I believe that's the Hudson. That might be the Hudson. It's fairly large. <laughs> that's what in, uh, intoxicated me. Is okay with punching in. Very tricky, very easy to get lost up here and run out of food. We're not gonna run out of food, we have 50 days. There's a lot of Canada up here. Now, my understanding is that this is all swamp. It's all swamp and snowlands. And this is where Balto took place, isn't it? Some land up and down east. I need to grab this. So up near the Arctic in the uh, above uh, Russia, the wind can die out. There's a different hazard up here that doesn't make much sense. It's not much of a hazard unless Pyro Din is chasing you down. If we don't see it, I'll explain it. Is that all with that land there? Yes, now let's head back north, hit the Arctic. Is it? It is big. I know the, the projection of maps doesn't show it that way. Like, there's this web pretty cool website. It's, what is it, uh, how big is it or something? Or one true size or one of those that takes the projection. It's the it's the projection that we're used to seeing, but you can grab it and move it around and it'll scale it for how wonky the project the paper projection of the sphere is. You could do something like take England and slap it over top of Texas and be like, man, 
England's tiny, so it makes you look up how long would it take to walk across England, and it would say 60 days. 40 to, 40 to 60 days, and you're like, damn. That's it? It'd take me that long getting lost in the mall. people in Germany than in Canada, but you could fit two Germanys in Quebec. I mean, people. eventually people are going to spill over there and infrastructure will have to make it there eventually, right? We have to have a place for trees, BTB place for wildlife. After 30 days, we could start to suffer from rats, but we have a cat on board. Let's pet the cat. Uh, the cat was very expensive. We got it in China. Meow. The Fi Cat. Uh, after 30 days, we could also start to suffer from scurvy. That's why there's so much lime juice in the uh, in the old inventory. See, I didn't know that about Canada. All right, I've been through here, so let's head southeast. Let's make our way back to vast lands. Even as far north as I live, Canada's still like a six to nine hour drive away. I feel like human brains are not really designed to understand the vastness of a lot of size things. Port of Copper Mine. I need a name for Copper Mine. Ah, good job, Ertz. And good job, Manuel. And Anthony. Oh man. No, oh, that's not that's not a happy picture. I certainly won't work. World's most depressing city. That I feel like there's quite a few places that could uh, fight for that title. The hazard up here is that uh, there could be a lot of fog, which will pixelate the screen like you're playing FF1 and you've gotten poisoned, but without the screaming. And you can still sail, you just can't see other ships, which isn't a hazard unless you're being chased down.
There's a lot of Kanan up here. And as Misty is saying, even nowadays, there's not a whole lot going on, so... You know, 15, 26, there's most certainly nothing going on. Uh, actually, no, this is Canada. Plato's place is... Top middle of where the screen is now. This up here is where, uh, Beaver... Something or another is. Am I sailing down here again? Alright, I feel like we've gotten all this. Let's head southwest. I died on more than one occasion in this area as a kid playing this. As an American, I know very little about about the Canada. All right, and we're, looks like we finished Canada. So let's head east and head to the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, there's no... And this is very a dangerous area for any ship without um, oars. Because there's no current up here. For whatever reason, the ocean is, is just dead. It's just still it's glass. And, as you see, the air current is very small. It's only two or three... Whoa. Whoa, hello. Yazid. <laughs> Yazid, what are you doing out here? Yazid. You're heading to Nagasaki. You are heading to Japan. By way of Canada. A bold man. Montreal, Vancouver, I've heard of those. Toronto. I'm not, I'm not familiar with Ottawa. We'll stop in, like, whatever New York port that is. And start doing the Atlantic Ocean. Hmm. What about her? I've heard of it. That's a place, right? Quebec. I've heard of that. Alright, and we're there. Welcome to Cape Cock. <laughs> It's time to do some more open ocean. A little bit south and then head straight east to the end of the world. You've never heard of Montreal? Oh, hey. I forgot Bermuda's out here. Yeah, this little piece of land. little refuge from storms. Would that be Bermuda? Eastern Pacific, right? 
Or Eastern Atlantic? No, I did that. So I head south and head back west again. I'd imagine most cities in Canada are nice. If you're, if you're only gonna have three of them. Or if you're only gonna have a half dozen. See, that's the problem with America. Quality over quantity, by far. One little spot down southeast, let's grab that. No storm so far. Alright, we got that. Head back northwest, and then we'll hit the southern Atlantic. Welch, Texas. Is that where the grape is? Is that where uh, my jelly is from? I like Welch's grape juice. Grape juice, grape jelly. Goes good with my peanut butter. Speaking of Uncharted, I uh, because this I saw it on Netflix, so I watched the Uncharted movie with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. It's really good. I enjoy it. I've never played any of the games, but I enjoyed the movie. Yeah, some things are worth going off-brand for. Some things, not so much. So, next up. Once we get to the tip... Alright, we've already done the Amazon. Alright, cool. I have no recollection. But I, I should rewatch that. Off-brand Pop-Tarts around here are like 80 cents a box, though. You can get off-brand SpaghettiOs for 22 cents a can around here. Walmart brand SpaghettiOs. I mean, if you're eating Pop-Tarts, it's probably not for the gourmet taste in the first place. Although every now and then, if I want to feel super like fancy and important, I will toast the Pop-Tart. And then I feel like a royalty. I got a Oreo Pop Tarts at one point. What was it like cookies and cream or whatever? I heated up in the, in the toaster and I, I burned them. Burned them real bad and throw it out. But then someone came over to my house and was like, were you making brownies? Apparently it smelled real good to burn those Pop Tarts. All right, head west and then up. Just touch base here. Boop. straight up. And that'll finish off the Atlantic. Moment in Justin? Afternoon, yeah. Guess I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. On the entire east. Looks like the only thing left in the game is that stretch of the Pacific. Well, let's Hopefully that's a supply port and not a village. Not a whole lot of, in the way of Western Americas. slamming face first into Cortez.
I've already been here. This will actually land us directly at the plot, too. I think there's a supply port on the other end of the Mexico. Mesoamerica. Okay, we'll stop here. And yeah, sure. This is where we stop for the moment. Good on, Klaus. Good on, Anthony. Just so glad to be here in the beef curtain. promptly leaving the beef curtain as well. So from where do we head west? Alright, not for a while. It's not till we get up. Is that the Galapagos up there? The Galapagos further southwest of America. Never remember. My geography's not perfect. I feel like it's fairly good, it's just not perfect. Oh hey, another one. We missed this one last time. All right, we gotta rename Melendo as our, as is our manifest destiny. To take all of these supply ports around the world and vandalize them heavily. Though it was planned all along, perfect. May as well. Yeah, just missed this one entirely. That's Easter Island down southwest, so I guess this is the Galapagos up here we're heading towards. That is a nice name. Head west from here. Into storm country in the Pacific Ocean. With no refuge. Although storms do go by seasons, we could just be getting lucky that we we're not sailing these during their respective hurricane monsoon season. If a ship does take enough damage, like our ship durability is 41, that's probably the highest across the board. That might be the lowest number. Either would make sense. Um, if a ship durability drops to zero, it will sink, either in combat or from a storm. And then you have a dice roll on whether or not you, I suppose it's more of a coin flip, but whether you manage to save the navigator sailing it. And they could be gone forever. Or in the case of your flagship, that could be game over if you are wrecked at sea. Good progress. Not much of a current, so... Moving purely on the power of the law of real. Well, 
Land. Land ho. Alright, we'll sail west. We'll hit that island. This, hopefully that's a supply port. Then we'll double back. Assuming I saw a pirate in this vicinity when uh when I named this. Ahoy there. So it looks like we head straight east drop down and continues, we might be done. Or there's that island, I can, there, I can see I didn't finish a river in Russia at the very top of the screen there. But I will have to go down that river. Almost there, though. Now it is possible to fully un- like, unmap the world, but not get enough adventuring points to proceed. Like, if you just skip the villages. Don't know why you would do that. Hey, it's a village. Speaking of. There's nothing here. find out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Cultural artifact. We found in the Indo-Pacific cowrie, a, a rare snail with a beautiful shell that lives deep in the sea. Its shell is used as an amulet by tribal leaders and shamans in the area. The only cultural artifacts get the triumphant fanfare in this. We did it. I feel like I don't find that one too often. I definitely did not remember that snail. Probably worth a lot of money. Another day or two and then we'll head south. Day going, day and a half going south. Another day, and then east, and then we'll come back. Or I'll just turn around and go back. We have, yeah, we have the supplies. Because of the way movement is done, um, attacking actually is a perfectly valid way to make pick up speed, especially if you don't have oars. 
attacking where you're if the wind's coming this way you kind of want to zigzag into it catch the wind slightly but not have it push directly against you with oars we can just ignore that Cater's going to shit himself. Alright, let's head back. We had that, like, one river in Russia that I guess didn't go all the way down, but it looks like on the world map. One good thing about stopping in supply ports instead of regular ports is that the plot doesn't... I don't want to say prog it doesn't progress, It's it doesn't do... Um, like if you recall when we stopped at ports before, people would stop and talk, and Hans and would talk, and the girl that's with us that I can't remember her name would talk. It just slows things down. That doesn't happen in supply ports. I believe about the fastest you can move is like 21, 22 knots, which is blistering fast in a wooden ship. We'll stop in Japan before our men contract scurvy. Oh. Hans. Hans, you literally have one job, and that's to tell me when a storm is coming. Turn the storm off. One job, Hans. There's a fine sprite for Mount Fuji. Salty maybe noticed. Salty may not be the best at geography, but maybe noticing that there is a fairly important port in my game that is missing from Japan here. Uh, it's because that is a plot point in this scenario. And it doesn't unlock or reveal until the plot directs me to go there. That's a port over there in Russia. Because, uh, it's been 36 days. You could also buy rat poison. Um, if you didn't want to, because I believe you can only get a cat from the, from the Far East. No cats in the West, I think. Maybe somewhere, like, in the black market, the after hours, the 2 a.m. sales. But China just sells cats. There we go. Ukraine forever. Yeah. Yeah, my game is a saving the girl's cat nets you a cat, which you can poke in on the owl, and it gives you positive uh, morale, but 
positive morale on the mor your morality meter for being a good guy to go down the well and collect the cat. Since in here, in this game, if you poke the cat, it go it says me out. Yeah. Your mine also meows. There's no rats to get on board your ship, but hey there, who's way up here in Russia? Be careful, it's treacherous around here. Louis. Head down that river and then head back to Europe and see if Mercator is satisfied. Believe the Isles, a large island. If this seems right. Raja would be a good king. Trying to figure out which one it would be. Raja would make sense, because he's always just like, whatever. Go with the flow. Although William or Jeff Jeffrey would also fit. Like, I have a whole side quest plan for collecting that person. It would even, and then... That, would, that whole section would then play the... Oh, this is the wrong river. Yeah, it went too far. Could be a chem We have a chemist in the game already. I was thinking using doing the Lord class. Or as the protagonist, he could equip other other classes which other people can't. His side quest would also involve playing the battle music from that game instead of the new one. Here in Boneless Chicken. <laughs> You'd be the one person who would have like the subclass system. Aside from your main protagonist. Oh, speaking of in that game, on the new game, I've uh what I've been working on is getting a working shell game working. And it looks really cool. It's turned out really nicely. As the plot has made its way to the to, to the resort town. Yeah, pick a pick a card, any car. You take you take you shuffle you, you put something in a box, you shuffle it around. Which one is it? Which one is it? got it working it looks pretty cool and hey hundred smackers if you get it if you get it right you get you get five resort tokens if you get it wrong you get nothing oh wait is there really not a river here I guess this is it it's a fake river all right very well oh it is up here and hug the Arctic. Also going to put in there a uh, racetrack to, to bet on. 
That seems like it's going to be hell to put together, but I have an idea of how to do it. And of course, a battle arena for gimmick fights. And I have a digging mini game. Hmm. Which one would he be? The canonical route of being really, really rude and angry. The red armor or the, the other way that I'm not going to spoil if you haven't seen it yet. I still have like 10 more days. Yeah, we'll make it. Hmm. And to him, that could all be a part of the of the desert oasis sea, which I never asked you what you thought of. That was drop something. Um, that was part of the game that you didn't need any help with, so I didn't hear about it. The desert, um, leaving the Gobi Desert, that whole sequence. Right, we should be re-entering the fjords. Doorway. <laughs> Should be England. Correct. Wait till daybreak. Oh, good job, Ernst. And Anthony. Sitting pretty at 44,000 exploration points. Need to turn in that village discovery. I have. Here, have the rest. Fantastic! This completes the world map! Thank you for all your hard work. Here is your pay 384,000 smackers. And for completing the world map. He goes ahead and smooths out all the parts we couldn't see. It's the only way to block to unblock out the land. We did it. The whole world. Let's have a drink. Did it. Everyone, Steam Crabs on Ernst. Oh, that face. I love the random face generator in this. Have you been to Hamburg? It's known for its dye. Lisbon deliver the final village I didn't check to see if that was enough to push me to 50k I hope it is <laughs> that means that if not then that means I missed a village somewhere which means I was close enough to map it, but not close enough to spawn the village. Yeah, 
here, have this. Super. Now, even once you've discovered everything, it's only a rumor in that it could just be one that did not spawn. Okay, there we go, we're topped off. It could just be one that did not spawn, uh, period. Anyone here in the wash? Miguel. I'll take a smug looking redhead. That sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. So smug he wants a raise. We haven't even put him to work yet. What a guy. So, while completing this, that should have unlocked the final port. The fastest way to get there is actually through Canada. That Turkish guy was probably right. Going around Africa means you get access to gold, but at the same time, we don't need money. And there are storms. No storms in Canada. The wind could die out and get foggy, but that's it. Neither of those will affect us. Not sure why the next... So, we had two plot things. We were going to map the world, and we were going to help this girl find her home. But until we finish mapping the world, they wouldn't tell us we wouldn't be able to visit her home. But upon finishing the world map, going to the harbor should have prompted me to go to Japan. If we recall what she looks like, she is obviously Asian. But so you can't sequence break, they just hid that port of Zipangu from us. But it should have unlocked now? Why do we have uneven amounts of food and water? You guys. Who messed this up? I don't understand. Afternoon, Faye. How you doing? How you doing? We're sailing, we're relaxing, we're taking it nice and easy today. Yesterday was leg day, so I can barely move. My quads are like jelly. Been hitting the weights and the workouts pretty hard this past couple weeks. After not being very good with it for a while. Feeling better, Faye? Last I recall, you were not feeling very well. Well, that's good. It's more hydrate. And it's dead. That was my final monster, too. I need to go to the store. I need to go anyway. I need more almond milk. For, for my uh, protein shakes. And we could probably make it all the way to Japan on this. Sail all the way from... From Lisbon, in Europe, over Canada, to Japan. Our goal was to map the entire world. And we did. So, we're supposed to then be able to bring this girl home with us? This girl, this little 14-year-old girl tagged along. 
that she could speak every language in the world. And apparently our protagonist uh, has fallen for her according to the plot. But the plot never triggered us to go here. Um, let's at least take a moment here in uh, Monster Island. Manuel, Klaus, Lords, good job, y'all. Yeah, this this run started on the birthday drink stream. A lot of really good names on these ports. Alright, hopefully there is a port down here now. If not, then I'm not quite sure what I need to do next. Next. Yeah, there should have been a port right here. Zabongu is here. There's water. Yeah, you can stop anywhere for water. Like, you won't find water in, like, the tundra. Nagasaki and Zipangu should both be here. Right now, neither of them are, and I'm not quite sure why. Oh, the, 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 the Mirage. Oh, apparently I found crimes. <laughs> I don't know why I made this crimes, but I did. Plot won't advance at supply ports. I need a real port. Uh, let's stop in Macau. There's a couple Chinese ports down here. Stop and Z. Yeah. You have plot for me here in China? Yes, plot. We found plot. By the way, I just think about time you two took the oath. Take the oath? Oh, your marriage. Your marriage oath. Come on, cut it out now. It's embarrassing. We're not involved in that way. You say so. Okay, but that doesn't... I have the points necessary to do the move. Do the move. While we're here, I think this is one of the special ports. We may as well show it off. We have the money. <laughs> 3 a.m. Alright, you all two should get married. So, the inns are free. They don't do anything. It's just a way past time. I want to wake up at 2 a.m., please. Just sleep for 22 hours. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that actually adds up a lot. That adds up. So at every single item shop in the game, at 2 a.m., they sell things they don't sell otherwise. That's where this line in my game comes from where you can buy the Crusader Sword. Here you can buy cats. Lime juice. You can buy balm here, yeah. You can buy two things in every store and two in the black market. Here you can buy the Blue Crescent. It says Heavy Sword. It's... <laughs> it's a Chinese... Chinese sword. It's a halberd. It's a halberd you can use in solo combat. It is 24,000. Yes, I will put it on. Let me sell something. Suppose I no longer need my telescope. I know where everything is. It's a glaive. I sell a bomb. I'm going to need armor at some point. If we don't find the plot, we're going to start killing people. 
A uh, balm stops storms. And I'm sailing a very... And the chairman. Yes, I'm all about the chairs. Uncharted Water is one speed run. Wow, that sounds sounds like a nightmare actually. <laughs> Everything Uncharted Waters does, New Horizons does better. Oh, I appreciate that. Like, the world map in Uncharted Waters 1 is more or less random. It's a good starting game. Like, it, it, it led to this. Koei did that a lot. A lot of Koei's first games were not great, but the second ones really stepped it up. Romance of Three Kingdoms, Genghis Khan, Clan of the Great Wolf. I do really enjoy uh, a lot of Koei games. Alright, let's see what they have here. China has really good stuff. Um, you actually just sell loot items. You like map games. Koei loves numbers. Alright, is the plot in the bar? Sometimes the plot progresses in bars. a speedrun this one. Uh, what scenario, though? Or is it gonna be a speedrun of all six scenarios? How fast can you get through all six of them? Joao's is tough. Oh, that's adorable. I've never actually beaten Joao's, um, scenario. Wow. I feel like the next one I'll do is a combat one. Just because... I'll probably do my least favorite one next. That's, uh, Sir Otto. Which one of you is the inn? Alright, not the, not the guy. It's just, it's not an actual box. Ali's is fairly simple once, if you're willing to very, gain, very easily gain the money game. take a very short route and just print money. The Golden Dragon. It's a not as good. So, attack ranks is D, B, A, S. Or star. We already have the go- We already have a star shape. Uh, rank weapon. Tier. I don't know why it's not- Why the plot is not progressing. Maybe I have to go to a different region. Let's go to, uh, let's go to India. Motorcycle neighbor is on board. Let's go to India. Maybe in a different region, the plot will advance. In the past play in this, once by the time I finish the world map, they then tell me where she's from, and it unlocks, and I can go there and end the game. It's a... it's a sword on a stick. What are you doing? Luigi, that is not a battle fleet. All of those ships are garbage. That is the worst battle... we could probably... He is actually dying. 
His ship is or his ships are so slow. He can't sail against the current. <laughs> that man is actually sailing to his death. Is there an item shop here? If I can find a place that sells pretty decent armor, I will just start killing people. I do have the rando for this saved. There it is, plot. Captain, as I'm getting on in me years, there's one wish I have. And we did it, we find it. I have, I have one dream I've kept in my heart a long time that I hope will come true. What is it, Hans? If you don't mind, I'd like to hear it. Well then, Captain Paula. Paula, that's her name. I've never played the rando, but I have it for when I'm done playing through all six of these. Have you two heard of the golden country of Zipangu? I read about Marco Polo and his voice to the Far East. Is that the same, Zipangu? Aye, the same. I read Marco Polo's book when I was just a lad, and ever since I've wanted to go there and see it for myself. Golden country of Zipangu. So if it really exists, I'd like to go and add it to my map. Why don't you go and have, have a look? I've thought of a few different challenge runs of this game to do. One particular fun one I'll probably do for autos is I'd like to see if it'd be possible. That wouldn't be very fun, but it it would be it'd be silly. Because autos is just pure combat. It'd probably be silly to see how long I can go without ever stopping my boat. Combat's so easy, you don't need to ever duel. But, um, just never stop your boat. I wonder if I can get that mark, that, that cursor up to 100 days. 200 days. 300 days. Because every time you beat someone up, you can take their their soldiers, you can take their people and their uh, supplies, so you don't have to restock. You would eventually have to then fight against scurvy and rats, because if you do it right from the start, you won't have them. The problem is you don't have time to grab crew. All those bombs that I sat through that storm yet. Yeah. Ali's is kind of fun. Um, you could try make, try to you use every trade good in the game. All right, it still didn't spawn Zipangu. Pretty sure Zipangu is at the foot of Mount Fuji, right? Are right, you gonna spawn Nagasaki for me at least, and have that one tell me to go there? Or did I break Ernst's scenario? Did we do this too efficiently and we broke it? Guys, as a kid, I, I, I was never able to get past the intro to Joao's as a kid. Because you, you, you get set upon very fast. That is the hard mode. And as a kid, you want to play as the kid. I only want to play as the kid and the redhead. I knew my type when I was younger. I don't like that our, our crew is eating un... Did I lose a man? No? Why are we losing... Why are we eating and drinking asymmetrical? Maybe we have to ask around China where it is. Oh, really? <laughs> That's wild. This game owns, man. It's one of my favorite games. I thought they were Dragon Warrior 4. Okay. Plot is not in the bar. A lot of the scenarios, the plot advances in bars. Yeah. Well, because they're Americans, they don't like numbers. There are numbers everywhere. Look at all these numbers. There's numbers. Numbers.
Okay, plot. Found it. By any chance, is this land Zipangu? Oh, it's up there. It's right around here. Let's go! Right, that's where I got my... In my game, you have to go looking for Zhuao in Zipangu, and the Chinese ports all point you towards him. There's Nagasaki. You can get silver there. And there are some really good boats you can build here in Japan. I missed it. I went the wrong way. We are a little low on food. Alright, let's stop it. Uh, <laughs> it is a storm. Let's uh, stop it, Nagasaki. Like, some of the best boats... You can build boats out of, like, real materials here, like steel and copper. It's super expensive. You don't say. <laughs> the NPCs are not particularly awful in this. Oh, Ernst, you know me? They have silver. They have 69 price to pearl. And here you can actually get like gold from East Africa and sell it here for a pretty good price. And then bring that silver back to Africa, sell that for pretty and this is a this is a not a bad secondary location. And if nothing else, it takes up a lot of time. If you're building a boat here, um, it takes a while to build it, and there's not much to do out here. Like, it's the te it's, they have a few boats out here. Any chance you have one already? Yeah, the Kansen. One of them. It's a tiny boat. It's extremely fast. You say that, but... If you were to re reconfigure this to have minimum people, no cannons, it is fast as hell. But imagine that, but huge and made of steel. The large Kyer Aldin's guns at you will do like one damage a piece. Never necessary, but it's here. Anatsu. Let's tell Anatsu about the, um... Oh, about Niagara Falls? Uh, not yet. No, when we have Ali, we will cap it. We will break the cap. And it will overflow, and it will get weird. What about Niagara Falls? Wow. Now you can have up to 9,999 ingots. Oh, I didn't I forgot to check. Is there a... Uh... Yeah, you can make like... Two, three, five hundred thousand gold at a time. Hey, Jack! Yeah, look at this blue-eyed devil. Come on down. 30 bucks a month. Alright, I've never seen Jack lift diffs him before. In all my years of playing this, I have never seen this man. Who, who are you? He's a pirate. Huh. I guess someone beat him up. And he got sent to a port. Somewhere in the world. He's gunnery. He is my new first mate. Hans, you didn't do your job. You've been demoted. Jack, welcome aboard. Hans, you take back over the Chad. Is the plot gonna progress here? Yes. Is this land Zipangu? Yeah! Can't believe me is. This is Zipangu. It's really the golden country. 
And it doesn't look very gold. Oh, it kicked me out. All right. Well, let's go check out the uh, the, the bar. Yes, plot in the bar. You know, Han, huh, something's just occurred to me. What is it, Captain? The people here look a lot like Paula. I now that you do mention it, I see a likeness. So this could be my homeland? I don't know, I've refrained of asking, but... I, we've been sailing together for nine years, sailed the entire world, but I've refrained from asking you anything about yourself. You might be able to get something, a clue to help find your homeland. Just slowly try to remember anything you can. Like the landscape, you must remember something. There was... a mountain. An ocean. And a... And not blue ocean, a yellow sea. No such thing as a yellow sea. But it's true. R. Kelly can tell you about a yellow sea. R. Keep, tell me about the yellow sea. No? Yellow Sea? Nope. <laughs> Just nope. In half an hour, the black market opens. Uh -oh. Okay, good. There's still water in the bottle here. No one has ever heard of the Yellow Sea, however. Now it's time for the black market. What do they sell after hours in Nagasaki? They've never heard of it yet, yeah, yeah, we know. I just want to know what they sell. Nothing. Either nothing or a tiara. The other Japanese port has the fancy Japanese sword. Yes, yes, I know where the LC is. <laughs> All right, that face. Yar, a pirate. All right, make progress. Now to the LC. The Yellow River is uh, in China. Just north. That's a supply port, so... Do I sail it? It's been a long time. I did drink. Yeah, and I'm not active. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I'm not alcohol drinking, so I don't have um, the memory. It has been well established that things you learn when drunk and forgotten when sober, you will remember again when drunk. I saw it in a movie. It must be true, right? Beer Fest was a good movie. All right, we're up to 20 knots. I've never played any of the Silent Hunter games, but it sounds fascinating, right? Submarine Warfare. Right, let's just check the other Japanese port. Which, of course, I went around the wrong side of Japan again. As you do, I'm gonna stop by Mount Fuji. Yeah, there. Sakai. 
Thanks, Lawrence. He's always, I love that smug look on his face. Just, hey, hey. Short storm. All right. Storms could last like a week. And they can, you can very easily run out of food in storm country. If you get unlucky. I would side up for that to see if that was real. At least college me would have. I think I would die nowadays. Here in Sakai. Always nighttime. Tell me about yellow. It's a yellow river, you'd be looking for the Huang He. A really white river. Alright, so now maybe that now that I've been pointed in that direction, something will be there. I highly doubt I have to stop in the supply port there. Hey, what are, who are you? All right, your plot for some some for one of the other scenarios. That's what that uh, icon means. Japan is just chock full of cats everywhere you look. Just you know, and wolf. Which, you know, adds up. The only information we can find is about Yellow River. It's right around the mouth of that Yellow River. You may be right. The villager said the Huang He was a wide river, right? It was always flowing in the same direction. There was never a changing of the tides. I never smelled salt. Could have mentioned this earlier. Well, it was just a river. All right, let's go to the, back to the Yellow River. Some of the uh, plot flags might be a little tricky. Particular. That's why I still love this game. There's so much you could do that isn't even the plot. Just have a good time. Once again, go the wrong way. And every one of the scenarios has a different sailing music. I do like this one the most, which is appropriate since we uh, spend the most time sailing in this one. Happy New Year! There it is. Chungong. lie with Holland. The, the AI can still go to these towns that we couldn't see. It's not hidden to them. And we'll get to dueling eventually. There should be a plot building here somewhere. There it is. This building... Paula, do you remember anything about this building? Maybe, just maybe, this is her home. I only remember vaguely, but I'm fairly certain. Seed. 
Congratulations, Polly. You finally found your homeland. Thank you, Ernst. You even found your parents. Your dream has come true. Why, yes. I guess this means goodbye. Yes, so. Unless, well, you want, you want to travel with me again? Are you sure? Of course. Really? Ernst von Bohr resumed his voyage with Paula. To be fair, at this point she would be like 20. It's less weird now. His quest to accurately map the entire world will continue. One thousand six hundred and ninety-one day voyage. That means that's how many years? Four and a half years. Hey, she's eighteen now. It's less. It's less weird. Four years to map the whole world, though. That's. I set sail to map the world at the request of Mercado, and I soon found another quest when I met a young girl at a port named Paula. I was moved by her plea for help and decided to help find her homeland. Now, in the other scenarios, this recap isn't always accurate because a lot of the storylines in the other scenarios are optional. Would you please take me on your ship? did it. We mapped the whole world and we... I'll swear to the ocean that I'll never forget my original purpose of my journey. But it was hard to see her face. So hopeful before we reached the new port, so disappointed afterwards. It seemed that her homeland had vanished off the face of the earth. Like, it's like the game was hiding her homeland port from us. Where in the world could she be from? We haven't had much luck finding Paula's homeland, have we? Been to almost every harbor in the world! Sorry I caused you so much trouble. This is, this is the game, it's good. We just didn't do any of the combat stuff, and we didn't really take advantage of trade. But that's the adventuring and exploration part of it. He'd like to stay with you forever. Yar. So the game I made based off this, it's very, it's fairly lo loosely based on this. To Pangu that Hans had dreamed of turned out to be no golden country. But I wasn't disappointed, because <laughs> we finally got a clue to Paula's homeland. That made me laugh. Not much in the way of side quests in this game, in this scenario. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we know, we, we were... Five minutes ago, man. Waited four years to ask her if she remembered anything about her homeland. It was as if her homeland was long waiting for her return because it had a wonderful gift for her, her family. I'm so happy to have helped her see her lifelong wish come true. The other protagonists have more personality. This is the do whatever you want, there's no real time limit scenario. This is the, I would say this is the, one, the best one for beginners. You could do whatever. natural for a man and woman woman who went through times of happiness and hardships together to fall in love. Would you like to go on a voyage with me again? I asked. Her smile was all the answer I needed. The seven seas were full of dangers. Pirates, storms, and sea monsters. Not every mate had the metal to overcome the obstacles. But you, with your courage, wit, and strength of heart, have bested even the worst of foes. 
The tale of your voyage will be told for years to come. What is he wearing? What is this? You blue haired devil. This is how all the scenarios end like this. At some point, we'll probably step in and do another one.